Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another edition of The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, The Judicial Review Show, brought to you by the Department in Howard Vapors. Now, I received this last week, so the next lot of reviews will be coming from this. Um, from Vapor Round, I got their Vapor Round sample box. i uh, just going to give you a quick show of what's in it. I say this will be like the schedule for the next few reviews of all the stuff that's in this box. As you can see, it. Bleh. It did come with rather a lot of stuff. As I say, we've got some advertising pamphlets. But the Pachamama. We've got the Crunchies range in sample form. Uh, the Blizzard. One from Vapor Round themselves. And one from Barracuda. Oh, and also, not forgetting. Ooh, which one is this? one from Baker's Fog. So, I mean, this is going to be basically the next set of reviews I'm doing of this box. It's like loads of advertising stuff, which also tells you what you've got in the box, a little bit about it. Yeah, I'm very impressed. So, before I go any further, I'd like to thank the good people at Vapor Round for sending this to me. This is all connected with the forum, industry forum, and also um, the app. Let's come out. So, what am I going to look today? Well, what I'm going to look at today, oh, I forgot there's one album that was in the box because I've already made this up because they sent a short film in there as well. Is this the Zombie Cloud, the Red Plague? Um, have got a state for the record. Any views or opinions you hear during this review are mine and mine alone. I've not been paid to do this review. I did not pay for the product. I was one of the first thousand people to sign up to their new forums, so this was sent to me for free. Also got to say for the, record, the individual taste setups and of course power levels will alter what you get from a juice. I can only personally tell you what I'm getting myself. My weapon of choice today will be the Geek Vape Blade and that's got the lustre of a dual cord to 0.25. Now I'll go through bottles, labels, safety features as well. This will be the one I'm doing on this one. I'll separate the reviews into each individual company's juices. So this is just a one-off for me. So a lot of you are going, thank God, I won't be getting a numb ass because I normally do ramble on a tad. Anywho, on with this. Just in time for Halloween, so perfect timing really. We have that, the Red Plague from Zombie Cloud. Um, on the labelling side, I'm quite impressed with this. Um, this juice today will be an 8 round about an 80-20 VGPG blend. It has had a nick shot added to it, bringing it to 3 milligrams. Always happy to see all the warning things on there, even though this is a short film when at time of purchase. If you got to remember, at time of purchase, this contains no nicotine. But it's got the potential of having nicotine in it, so I'm glad to see the warnings on that bit. Um, what else have we got on here? Caution for use for own seniors, third to manufacture instruction refilling, not for sale to under 18s, not for use for pregnant or nursing women, not recommended for non-smokers. Keep out of reach of children and pets in a secure location. Then we've got the ingredients, which is VGPG flavorings. It's manufactured by Hamworth Limited in Dorset. Yep, so we've got pretty much all the warns on there. That is needed. And also, as industry standard, and should be for every single short fill, childproof lid. This will come with a tampering. I know it's the thing I always go on about, but the tampering is there for your peace of mind. If this is any way damaged, broken, or missing, when you receive this product, demand another product. But that's mainly that. Um, this is the Nick shot that came with it. That came in the box. The 50p Nick shot. That's how much they should be. Okay, guys? These places that are charging you £152 taking the piss to be honest nick shots should not be more than 50p the main reason for this is i mean if you go back to before the tpd days when we could buy 72 milligram nicotine if you bought that from a shop for 100 mils you're generally looking at 15 quid 14.99 15 quid so that was should make a 70 a 10 mil 72 milligram at £1.50. These are four times weaker. Why is it still the same price? Someone shafting us there on Nick Shots. 
really are. It's why is that so expensive? Who is basically taking the piss? This is so you imagine in the old days, I'll say that would have been 72 milligrams of 10 mil, round about £1.50. Now, face the TPD, 18 milligram 10 mil is £1.50, but four times weaker. It's been watered down more. There's more stuff that you don't, which is base fillings, but still the same price. And in some cases, more. Some places are charging £2 a nick shot. It takes the piss. So I'm quite happy to see this in here. Um, as, yep, tamp this came with tampering, chop of lid as it should be. Um, it's got this warning on the bottom. This product contains nicotine, which is a highly addictive substance. We all know this is bullshit as more and more evidence comes out to disprove that fact. But it's got to be on there. Um, hang on. It just, it is the, it just covers the third, which is the legal requirement on there. Warnings. Big old toxic skull and crossbone on there. Not to use with pregnant women, not for sale to under 18s. It tells, it tells you on here, this is an 18 milligram, 80 VG, 20 PG, which matches what this is, so you're still getting an 80-20 at the end of it. It doesn't just alter the ratio a tad. Uh, it tells you the next shots distributed and packaged in the UK by 50pnickshot.com. And we've got their physical address and email underneath, should you need to get in contact with them for anything. Warnings, harmful to swallow, to keep out the reach of children and pets, wash hands thoroughly after handling. If swallowed, immediately call the poison centre or doctor, rinse mouth, store locked up, and they've got the ingredients, which is VG, PG, and of course nicotine, so they're actually in the right order. We've got batch date on here, and uh, so expiry date, and the batch number is on there as well. We've also got, for the visually impaired, I don't know if you guys have just seen that, just there, you can't really see it on here unfortunately, it has got the raised triangle warning on there as well. There was lots of hums and how on about that in the past, saying, well, unless it's like 25 milligram, you don't need it on there. I'd rather it is on here, like I say, for the people who are visually impaired. They can just pick up that bottle and go, oh, okay, this, this is one I've got to watch out for. Also got it on the lid as well. It's an old school bottle. I actually won these bottles for a bit of a while. And I, I always liked them because, as I say, for anyone who's visually impaired, they can just go, Okay, that's one I've got to watch out for. Which is good, which is good. Anyhow, this was mixed up about a week ago. So, all the bump came in here. And a massive one for Charlie Chalk Dust. Basically, everything they do is in there, which is nice. And here is the ones, one of the ones for today. I say, comes as a big advert. So today, wicked mixture of forest fruits on the back of cherry, which dances on the tongue and is dead tasty. I'll be the choice of that. I say we also got what it come with on the other side, the 50p nick shot, which is from Dr. Salty Liquid. Now that's one thing on here that didn't actually say that. I'm assuming there's a... Oh, no, all the information is on the bottle with this one. There is no peel off. Or is there? Ah, hang on. Can I separate that out? Ah. Now, it is a wraparound bottle. The problem is, the glue on that is so good, I can't get into it. <laughs> and also, you can't get into the wraparound because you've stuck the raised warning triangle over the bits you've got to try and peel. I'll try and get some. I've got no nails whatsoever. Ugh. That's stuck on really well. <laughs> so there, there's your raised warning triangle. Let's see if I can peel this. Yeah. The wraparound is crap. Because the glue is far too good on it. Ah, here we go. I've got it. God, fuck me. That took some doing. So, as always with these timber bottles, so they don't have to include a box and a leaflet. 
it is a wraparound. Please make sure your lid is secure because this label is upside down on the other side. Uh, right, nothing new there. Yeah, to be fair, there's nothing new on the actual warnings, but this does come with a wrap around if you can get into it. it. The glue is really, really sticky on that. You don't really get much of a purchase to peel it. And also, you've got the race triangle covering up both bits of it, so it's a bit of an effort just to get into it. To be fair, with most of these, unless like, you're in my position where I read them all, just to see if there's anything different in them from you guys, you ain't got to look at that. <sighs> Anywho... On with the review. <laughs> now, I so say these ones are basically mimicking the energy drink market. Actually, there's a, a couple on here that do kind of look a bit uh, monster flavour. So I'll be interested to see what this is like. Right, I'm going to start off 3.7 as always. And that's 55.6 watts. Oh, come on, camera, you were working out. No, you ain't going to do it. It's 55.6 watts. Here we go. Wow. Oh, wow, there's a lot of cherry. There's a lot of cherry in that. That's a bit unusual, I've got to admit. Right, no throat hit. Good cloud production. It's 80-20. If it wasn't, something's gone really wrong. Flavour-wise, the cherry is very, very dominant in this. I'm getting a little bit of a cool effect when I'm breathing in and out afterwards, so I think there is a tad of coolada in this as well. Wow. There's a lot of flavour in it. If anything, I'd say there's a tad too much flavour in it. The cherry really does steamroll over everything at this level. You do get little bits of forest fruits in there. Kind of like a raspberry. A bit of blackberry in there as well, I think. But the cherry just steamrolls over everything. Okay. The initial bit is nice, but over time it does grow to the point where I probably could have added about another 5ml of VG into this just to tame it down a tad. It is quite concentrated flavour. does have that <coughs> slightly that sweetened energy drink flavour twang to it. I do look on the exhale that is a fizz. There's a fizz that covers all over the tongue. But it's a bit much. It is all on that exhale. That exhale, that flavour magnifies so much. It really is a slap in the face with cherry and fruit and forest fruit berries. I'm going to go up to four volts. Oh, it, it, is, it is a bit too over concentrated. If you like a real slap it, mind you, some of the energy drinks, the energy drinks, especially with their sweeteners and other stuff that they put in there, it is a very concentrated burst of flavour. It's a bit too much, in my opinion. Right, I'll go on to 4 volts now, which is now 65 watts. Oh, God. <laughs> <coughs> It is a bit too concentrated. It's been a bit too much flavouring used in this. It's starting to make my mouth water again in the sides around here. Everywhere it touches is making me salivate. Still got that fizz at the end. Basically, if you're a fan of energy drinks, you're going to like this because it's got that same slightly over-concentrated flavour to it. And in that aspect, they've actually done it pretty well. But personally for myself, it's a bit much.
definitely with that sweetened edge. It's not one for me personally, but like, I, like I'm saying, if you're a fan of those energy drinks, you're going to like this one a lot. I personally, myself, would like that dialed down just a tad. Not a lot, but just to take that. Whoa, whoa. Jeez, that's a. Yeah. Especially when it gets to that slightly sweetened, fizzy finish. I'm going to go up to 4.2. To be fair, on that one, the other, the other fruits do come into it more. They do damp down that cherry. You are still left with that sweetened. Well, it's weird because you kind of got a slightly, you got that slightly bitter cherry. Then you've got that sweetened fizz. It is a bit of a weird ending. But then, like I was saying, it's exactly the same with energy drinks anyway. So there we go. Right, we're going up to 71.8 watts, or 4.2 volts. Going up to there, it kind of leaves a bit of a dry area on my tongue, which is a bit weird. As you can see, clouds are actually phenomenal. Flavours mooted down a bit now, actually. I think this one is definitely better lower down. This is better. And I say 3.7. 3.7 really brought that cherry out. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice cherry, but with everything else going on on that exhale, it just overpowered. Every, the, the overall flavour just is a bit too overpowering. Higher up, kind of a bit mooty. You do lose a lot of the fruit. The fruit is definitely a lower temperature fruit. Get more of that sweetened edge to it higher up, which I don't really appreciate, unfortunately. Well, like I said, not one for me, but for an energy drink, you're gonna, I think you're going to like that a lot. That is Zombie Cloud, the Red Plague. Well, that brings me to the end of this review. If you have enjoyed what we do on this channel, please like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back soon with some more reviews from the Vaporan box. Take care, people.